So you might ask, Leland, why are you saying we're in the tribulation, we're in the time of the trumpets? Why don't we see the full manifestation of the trumpets? Well, that's a good question. Now, we're going to get into it. The simple answer is this. Revelation 7 says, don't let the winds blow. Don't let the trumpets blow until we have sealed the servants of God on their forehead. Now, that's the simple answer, but it requires more study. We're going to see clearly that it says, don't let the winds blow on the earth on the sea, on the trees. And there's an angel that comes with the seal from the east sun. Well, these are the first four trumpets, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go line upon line, precept upon precept. I encourage you to have an open mind, get your Bible, study, let's go along. If you want, in fact, you can pause this video and read Matthew chapter 24, starting at 29. You can read Revelation chapter six, through chapter 7, okay? And we're going to go line upon line, precept upon precept. We're going to compare the scriptures together, okay? And we can see Matthew 24, Revelation chapter 6 and 7 are describing the same thing. It's very, very clear. So, as we do, I also want you to be familiar with this. This is the sign of the Son of Man that will appear in heaven. Ezekiel sees this. Ezekiel sees this. In Ezekiel chapter 1, he sees this stormy cloud. And out of this cloud descends this throne. In the center is a throne, and he sees four cherubim standing. Okay? And they have faces, okay? And they have wheels. So this is a throne that, that moves. It, it comes from heaven, comes down to the earth. Okay, and Ezekiel describes seeing this many times in uh, the book of Ezekiel. Okay, so this is a throne that moves. All right, now let's get into Matthew 24 and Revelation 7, and let's go through the scriptures. The biggest mistake people have when interpreting Bible prophecy is private interpretation. Private interpretation means you read the scriptures in one place and you do not compare them with other witnesses. So we must have two or three witnesses testifying to the same thing. Of course, the return of Jesus Christ is very important. So we must not privately interpret and understand this in our own thinking. We must compare it line upon pond, line, precept upon precept with other scriptures. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. So Matthew 24, verse 29, immediately after what? The tribulation of those days. Okay, it should not surprise us that someone says, Leland, we're in the tribulation. Yes. Okay, why? Because after the tribulation of those days, there's, there's the sun darkened. That's a, a solar eclipse. Moon will not give her light. Lunar eclipse. The star shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Now, this is exactly what we see in Revelation. Chapter 6, okay, verse 12. I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, there was a great earthquake. The sun became as sackcloth, solar eclipse. The moon became as blood, lunar eclipse. The stars fell from heaven, even as a fig tree. All right, we can also see the parable of the fig tree in Matthew 24 and verse 23. See that in green? Learn the parable of the fig tree. So quite clearly, we have these descriptions of the sixth seal describing what we can see in Matthew 24. Right? Okay. Now they continue. As we continue in Matthew 24, verse 30. All right. Then... Okay, after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be dark, the moon shall not give her light, right? Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. All right? The Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Now, 
as we go back to Revelation, we can see this throne. And verse 16, they say, hide us from the person or the face of him that sits on the throne from the wrath of the lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. Who shall be able to stand? Okay, so clear we have his throne. All right. And that's, of course, what we could see is a throne, the sign of the Son of Man. Now, if we go back to Matthew 24, and then it continues, and he shall send his angels, all right, and he shall send his angels with a great, okay, trumpet. Now here you can see the King James interprets this word phone in the Greek as sound, but really it's a voice. We're going to see that this voice of the trumpet is very important. So he'll send his angels with a great voice of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his what? Elect, eclectos, from what? The four winds, from one end of heaven to another. So again, we saw his throne, and we can see, again, if we learn his throne, it's got four angels. Ezekiel describes four angels standing. And then here in Matthew, we can see he's going to gather what? The elect. Now, how does he gather the elect? Well, he gathers the elect with a voice of a trumpet, a voice of assembly. You can see this voice of assembly in the book of Numbers. In the book of Numbers, it assembles the camps by banners. Judah, lion, Ephraim, ox, Reuben, man, eagle, Dan. Okay, so when it's saying he's gathering this is elect with a sound of a trumpet. Each one of those angels has a trumpet. And what they do is they assemble the camps associated with them. Okay? So that's this voice of a trumpet to gather his eclectos. From what? The four winds. So here we can clearly see the four winds. These are the four winds. These are the four angels, the four cherubim that are standing that we see in Ezekiel. Right? Well, the, the uh, description that we saw in Revelation continues, okay? So when we saw the throne, the throne of what? The Lamb, and with these things. So there's no separation of the, of the chapters. John is just continuing. This is a continue. And sometimes the word after in Greek can mean with in English. So with the throne of the Lamb. With these things, I saw four angels standing. Okay, four angels standing. So this is the four angels standing, right? On the four corners. So the four corners deals with the cardinal positions, east, west, south, north. The four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. So just like we saw here, we have the four winds of the earth. Matthew 24 described it holding the four winds of the earth. So what do we have? We have a throne. We have four angels standing. Okay, we have their voice, a voice, a command to assemble. Lion, ox, man, eagle. Trumpet, one, two, three, four. Okay? So they're assembling the elect. Okay? Now, once we get to uh, Revelation 7, again, we get back here, we can see them. These four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. Now, pay attention. That the wind should not blow. Remember, we saw the wind blowing, what? A trumpet. That the wind should not blow. All right? The wind should not blow what? The trumpet. Now, there's a trumpet to assemble the camps, but then there's another trumpet. There's actually two trumpets that's going on here. All right, so one of them is a trumpet to assemble the camps. And this is what you see in 1 Thessalonians 4, the great voice, the great command of archangel. Well, these are the archangels. These are the, 
the cherubim, they have trumpets. And then it says that the, then it says, the four corners of the earth that the winds and the earth and the wind should not blow. So it's like, don't blow, you can blow the trumpet of assembly, but don't blow the trumpet that affects the earth, the sea, the trees. And then we can see the sun. I saw an angel ascend from the east sun. So what's going on here? Well, what's going on is we clearly have a description of the first four trumpets. As we get to Revelation chapter 8, okay, we get to Revelation chapter 8, the first angel sounded, and there was hail mixed with blood, and there came upon the earth and the trees. So here we have the earth and the trees affected. Don't let the winds blow on what? The earth and the in the sea, in the trees. Second angel sounded, and it was a great mountain fire cast into the sea. Okay, so we have the earth, the trees, the sea. And the third angel sounded, and there was a great star from heaven in a lamp, and it fell in the third part of the rivers and waters. Well, rivers, waters, what? That's like the sea. Okay? And the fourth angel sounded in the third part of the sun. So clearly, when we have the, the don't blow Okay, that the, the wind should not blow on the earth, the sea, and the trees, and the sun. These are the first four trumpets. So we have a, a withholding of the trumpets. Okay, four trumpets. Don't blow the trumpets. Why? Well, let's keep going. And then, okay, now it says, I saw another angel ascending from the east Okay, you see we have sun. There's actually two words in Greek. We'll look at those in a second. But why are they withholding these trumpets? Having this, why? Because I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God. And he cried. Now, there's a cry and cried loud voice for angels. So the cry of the four angels is their assembly trumpet. Assemble. Assemble, the Lamb is coming. Okay, the Son of Man, the sign of the Son of Man is coming. Okay, that's the cry, the loud voice of the four angels. Okay, to, and then there's those to whom that was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, the sea, and the trees. Hurt, don't let, let the first, second, third trumpets blow. Okay, why? Until we have sealed the servants of God on their foreheads. So it's quite clear we have four winds, four angels standing. And this is exactly what we see in Revelation when we have the, and he shall send his angels. Okay, see right there, he'll send his angels, the four angels standing on the four corners of the earth with a great voice, okay, of a trumpet. And he shall gather what? His elect from the four winds. Okay, we can clearly see those four winds. We can clearly see this, this great voice. He cried with a great voice. All right, in this voice of a what? Trumpet. Now, who's the elect? Well, we have to go back to Revelation. We go back to Revelation, and then we see who's the elect. I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed, 144,000, of the tribes of the children of Israel. So how the, the camps assemble, they assemble with trumpets. You can see them in, in numbers. And they, they assemble with four main tribes. So there's four tribes in the east, four tribes in the west, uh, excuse me, three tribes. There's three tribes in the east, three tribes in the west, three tribes south, three tribes in the, the north, okay? And each has a main tribe. And then from them, we get the rest of the tribes, okay? So this is the assembly. Lion, ox, man, eagle, you have the four cherubim, and then around them is 12, okay? And then the 12 tribes would, would assemble. So this is just the assembly. This is the order and pattern of heaven, okay? So we should not be surprised when we see in Revelation, there's 12 gates, of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And the thickness of the wall, New Jerusalem, is 144 cubits. 
And it just so happens here in Revelation 7, we have 144,000. Okay? So this is the elect. That's clearly what it says. Because it says in Revelation 4, 24, he's going to what? He's going to gather his elect. And these are those that, that are sealed. Now, as we look here, we have to look a little deeper to see some of these words. I'm going to cross-reference the Greek. Okay, um, in doing this, guys, it's really helpful to get an app, um, something like this. You don't have to get this one. But, for example, you can see we've touched on the word east. And we see that the Strong's Concordance gives us uh, two words. One is east, the other is sun. The Strong's Concordance numbers here are right here. One of them is G0395, one is G2246. Okay, so that's where we're seeing the sun. Now, something else happens of note, which is very significant. Verse 3, hurt not the earth, the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed. Now, of course, in English, we see one word, sealed. But in Greek, we actually have two words. Um, I'm not going to pronounce this right. I'm just going to say it. Shra shragizo in Greek, shragizo. It's Strong's Concords number G4972. And you can see right here, there's two of them. Search for G4972, G4972. It's a double seal. It's saying sealed, sealed. Okay. Now earlier, I saw an angel ascending from the east having the seal. Now here we can see seal is Strong's 4973. Shra, shragis, um, okay, it's a different word, and there's only one word. So what's going on? Well, what's going on in verse 3, okay, her not the earth or sea until we have what? Sealed, sealed. What this means is that these people have a double seal, two seals. Okay, there's a, there's a kind of spiritual seal of assembly and then a physical one. And that's why we have a double seal here. So the 144,000 are already sealed. They were sealed at the sign of the woman clothed with the sun. Why? She has a crown of 12 stars. Okay. But then we can see, okay, until, until we have what? Sealed, sealed, the servants of God in their foreheads. And I heard the number which were sealed. And there were sealed. So again, we can see the double seal. And this time they put both. Okay. I heard the number which were sealed and there were sealed. Okay, again, that's the double seal. And then we can see the order of the tribes, right? So then we showed you the tribes, the order of the tribes, and there was from the tribe of Judah, Reuben, Gad, Asher, etc. So then, so then after the cry in the, the, of each uh, assembly of each camp, there's four main camps, and then you have the twelve. Okay, so we're in a second exodus, and there's these elect, okay? And that's clearly the elect that it's talking about. Now, if, if many of you are, are struggling with these ideas, you know, this is just clearly what the scriptures say. Um, you know, whatever doctrinal things you have contrary to this, it's just not what the scriptures say. Now, what we can see later in, in Revelation chapter 7, of course, is we have the tribes, and then we have a great multitude. And I beheld a great multitude. And John says, who are these? And he said, these are they which came out of the great tribulation. So there's obviously a tribulation of those days. We saw that. And then from that, there's a sign of the Son of Man. He's going to gather the, what, elect. Okay? But then there's a, a great multitude. And there's a great multitude that also is before the throne in heaven. And they come out of great tribulation. So we have two sets of people, quite clearly. So what have we learned? We can see that clearly there is a tribulation of those days. And with that comes the sign of the Son of Man in the clouds. It's four angels standing, holding the four winds of the earth. These are four cherubim described in Ezekiel, okay? 
And in fact, in Ezekiel chapter 1, you should read it and study because Ezekiel has vivid detail of the cherubim. Okay? And, you know, we've got so many um, other videos and, and things on this, guys. We're trying to just draw it and illustrate it. It's, it's very deep. But basically, we have this throne. We have a, a throne at the top. You have four angels standing. Okay? Each a angel has a trumpet. Of assembly. In fact, that's the part I, I, uh, I want to make sure I get this in the video. Let's take a look at Revelation chapter 8. Okay, here in Revelation 8, we can see the trumpets, right? We have the trumpets, and we could see that those trumpets, where the trumpets don't let the winds blow on the earth, the sea, the trees, and the sun. Now, when we get to verse... Um, 13 right here, okay, we can see this distinction of the trumpets. I beheld and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices, phony, of the trumpet. So you can see we're, we're saying here, if you can see that word there, that's in, in Greek, this phony. Uh, Phony, the, the voices of the trumpet. Okay, so by reason of the other voices of the trumpet, of the three angels which are yet to sound, salpinga. Now, um, in, in, our, in our Strong's Concordance, it says salpizo, if you cross-reference. So the, the, there's a trumpet that, that you... Blow the actual trumpet, okay? And that's what I'm doing. I'm blowing the trumpet, <laughs> okay? And that's a salpinga. But there's another trumpet. There's another voice of a trumpet, which is the assembly of the camps, okay? And we can see that clear distinction here in Revelation 8, verse 13. So one of them is the, the uh, loud cry, the loud voice of the archangels to to assemble come get ready the lamb is coming lion ox man eagle okay and there's there's this uh, distinction of the trumpet this this phone trumpet this assembly trumpet and there's this salpizo trumpet so it's this salpizo trumpet which is being withheld because that's the one you see in each of the trumpet judgments Okay, again, if we look at each word, if we were to go in the Greek, see how the first angel, salpizo, sounded. The second angel, sounded, salpizo. Okay, so these are the salpizo sounds of the trumpet. And they're being withheld. Don't let those trumpets blow yet. Why? Until we have sealed the servants of God on their forehead. So, we can clearly see that the Salpinga, the blowing of the trumpet is being withheld. Don't let the winds blow the salpinga trumpet until the servants are sealed on their forehead. So we can, we can clearly see the sealing of the servants is the day and hour no man knows. Why? Because that sealing of the servant comes when the Son of Man appears in the clouds. When the Son of Man appears in the clouds, it will be the voice of an archangel. Okay? And when he comes in the clouds is when he gathers the elect. Okay, so clearly the elect is the 144,000. Okay, and clearly there's an assembly of them by the 12 tribes, lion, ox, man, eagle, by this pattern of heaven. Okay, and clearly we can see then there's a, additionally to that, a great multitude. So guys, this is just recap. We have been talking about the same thing for years what is this? This is five years we've been talking about this. None of this is new. It may be new to you, but it's not new. So if, if you want to catch up, you want to understand, there is a distinction of the people. Okay? There is an elect. Okay? There is a great multitude. There is a foolish version. There's a wise version. Okay? So watch the playlist on the 144,000. And please watch the video when we say the voice commands of the archangel. That's, again, that most of what, of what I'm doing is review of that message. 
but I know you're not going back watching the videos. You're just waiting till I post something new and you're watching everything new. But all this is content we've covered, okay? And you can just look and say, ah, oh, Leland, you're wrong. You know, nobody's saying it like that. I I'm just reporting what the book says, okay? The book is not confused. So thanks for watching. Um, this will be part of the playlist of the king sits upon the throne. When he, when he comes upon this throne, um, it's all about him, okay? So it's unfortunate the behavior of the people is really not about him. They are all about themselves, okay, and what they can get out of this whole thing. But when he comes, it's going to be a, a, a great and terrible day of the Lord, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope that clears up any questions. Please let me know. I'll probably just reference other videos because... Everything we're saying, we've said before, it's just for the new people. And that's why we say in each message, watch and pray that you may be accounted worthy to be these elect, to be prepared and assembled when the Son of Man comes in the clouds. Amen.